Hello everybody and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to be making for you Escovitch fried fish. I'm going to be doing this in my style how I do it. A lot of people do it a lot of different ways and use other ingredients but I'm going to do this the way how I like mine done and I'm going to show you the ingredients what we're going to be using for today. Right our ingredients are going to be using some snappers which is a snapper fish going to be using some white sugar some scotch bonnets mixed colours some sweet peppers our onion We've got our carrots, we've got some fish seasoning, black pepper and some jerk seasoning. I'm not using any salt because the fish seasoning is already salty. And we've got our white vinegar which is a pickling vinegar. Also, we're going to be using some water as well. And I've got some plantains I'm going to be frying as well to go with it. So that's our ingredients for today. Right, so we're going to start this one off. You need a good non-stick pan. I'm going to start with a medium to high heat. So that's a medium to high heat and into that you're going to put your vinegar and we're going to be putting two cups of water So that's our vinegar and water in there. So we're going to put our sugar in that as well. You might think it's a lot of sugar, but this is just to um, help get the sharpness out of the vinegar a bit right so we've got our sugar water and vinegar into our pot so we're going to start doing our putting our veg what as you can see I've got a little candle here when you're doing fish that helps to counteract the smell of the fish in the house so first thing we're going to do we've got our scotch bonnet which I'm just going to rinse off again So that's our scotch bonnet and these now we're just going to cut into thin strips
as you can see I'm not using any of the seeds in this neither right so this now we're just going to drop into going to get our sweet peppers I'm going to cut those in a little bit thicker than the peppers So that's our peppers in as well. We want our onions cut into rings. So when you're putting the, these in there, you just press them out a bit. of a stir then our carrots now you want to cut those into into about three pieces then cut in off again and we're just going to just going if you want them smaller you can have them smaller this is what I'm going to do with mine I hope everybody's enjoying our contents, what we're putting out. We are getting a few requests coming in now. And as we go along, we will try and accommodate everybody. Where I live, we can't always get the ingredients what we want. But as we go along, we, you know, we, we'll try and, and fit everything in what we can fit in. I 
and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do so and please like up the videos and share with up with your friends and if you want to leave a comment please leave a comment in the comment section if you go on look on some of our videos you can see the comments what's been written we do get back to you on them right so we're just giving that a stir in and put a little bit more carrots in So that's all our things that we want in there. We're also going to put a teaspoon of black pepper in there. going to just leave that till it boils down if you want your vegetables hard you can just let this boil down and then get a sterilized jar and then put this in a sterilized jar but I like mine boiled right down so I'll show you that process so meanwhile that's there I'm gonna just move this to a, I'm gonna put our frying pan on frying pan on the heat so I've just got a little bit of oil in here and meanwhile that's heating up we've got our fish seasoning so just going to give that a shake to combine them together then we're just going to season these up a bit do the inside first and then I'll do it right outside snappers when you're seasoning watch out for the sharp bones I haven't cut I haven't cut mine off Mm -hmm. 
So that's our fish seasoned up. I'm going to put that to one side. Try off our planting now. I'm going to be cutting these into strips. some of our planting in. Right, this is our veg. Got it on the boil. boiling for about five minutes and then you're going to turn it up the, the heat down just to keep it on a simmer right, so we've got our plants in See they're looking nice. with two things at the moment so we've got our veg so we're going to turn that heat down now and just let that bubble away slowly Right, so we've got our plantings coming along nicely now. You can see they're nice starting to brown up. So I'm just going to turn them over again. Oh, things as you can see, you can zoom in the camera a bit, you can see the water's 
the vinegar and the water has gone right down so you're going to let that just slowly reduce right down as you can see they're all looking nice Gonna let that reduce right down. So you just want a bit of tissue paper in your thing because I'm gonna once they're fried I'm just gonna take them out and then put them in the oven. So I'm going to start to take out some of these, I'm going to be putting them in the oven so Some of them will brown up quicker than the others. I think it's where the heat is in the pan. Right, so we've got our we've got our veg for our fish. So you see that's coming down nicely now. We just want to reduce that right down so just till there's just a little bit of a liquid left. Just finishing off these few plantings and then I'm going to put the fish in. Put some more oil in the pan and then put our fish in. Right, so we've got our plantings out. You can see they're nicely fried. We're just going to put some more oil in our frying pan just to cover the bottom just about enough I'm just going to let that heat up and that should be ready for our fish soon And as you can see, the water is almost all gone, so we just want that to go down a bit more. Right, so we're just going to let our pan eat up and then we're going to put right so our oil is nearly up to what we, where we want it so we're going to put our fish in now if you want you can score score the the skin But I don't really sometimes bother with all that. We're going to put the first one in.
so it helps when you've got a big frying pan. Got these on a high heat now. You can leave them for about 15 minutes on each side. Right, as you can see now, our veggies done. We've got all the thing, and it's got like a Thin syrupy mixture, that's what you want. So we've got our fish, we put it on a different heat. So we're just going to turn these over now. Well, I didn't want to split the skin because it always starts to stick when you do that, but it doesn't matter. So I'm going to leave it on that side for 15 minutes as well. And then we're going to be ready to show you the rest. Right, so we've got our fish fried to how oh, I like my one fried. Some people like there's a bit drier. So I'm going to take these off now. I'm going to put them in a deep fish plate. So I'm just going to let the oil seep out of it to one side. We put them in, in there. Let's move that to one side. So that's our fish. Fried up nicely. So what we're going to do now with our veg, as you can see, they're all nice and glossy now. We're just going to spoon it over it. We're just going to. Get all this out. You can see you've got some nice liquid juices. You can see how it's like a syrup here. So that's it in the display. So what we're going to do, we're going to plate up a plate now and then show you what it looks like on a plate. Right, so as you can see we've plated it up with our plantains, what we fried off earlier and uh, we've got some Ardo bread. As you can see, we've got our Escovitch fish on the side. So if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, share and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend and if you want to leave a comment please leave a comment in the comment section we do get back to you on them and thanks for watching this one and we will see you on the next one